Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update of uh, the progress on our project here at Casa Casita de Copan. But I just thought it'd be really important to introduce you to Emily. Um, she's the director here. She actually started this ministry. I think you got involved down here, saw the need, and said, hey, I'm going to come back and do this myself. So, um, you know, I just you know, want you to just share a little bit about what you do here, about uh, Casita de Copan, what do you do for the community and so forth. Um, I'm Emily, I'm the director of Casita Fun. We started this organization in 2012. Our big goal, what we're really focused on, is the prevention of child abandonment. And we go about that in a couple of ways. The main program we have is our children's center. It's a daycare program for children of working single moms. So they come here during the day and they find a safe place. Um, they get food, medical care, educational programming, and they really just have a place to call um, Aside from that, we also run three three foster care homes, so we take care of 13 children who are, wow. who are orphaned, um, and those houses are located in different communities in Copan. The other thing we really try to work with single moms as much as we can to help them find the resources, whether that be educational or, um, you know, helping them find the medical resources they need yeah. so that they can keep their families together. Yeah, you know, I just uh, just shared with you, you know, I just think it's so awesome, you know, walking around here and just how professional it is, how clean it is. Um, I just get such an overall sense of safety. The kids are just comfortable here. Um, so it's a really a joy to, to serve you and serve your organization. You know, one thing that you said that I really love is, is you know, we're, we're kind of developing a food source for you, but you're going to take it one step further, and that was education. And so I uh, just want to share with you your heart as far as educating the kids about growing food and so forth. Sure. Well, for us, it's, it's definitely really important, and we're really excited about this project because we a lot of our children don't know anything about growing their own food. And so sometimes they might have land or access to places where they could supplement their diet, but they just don't have the, school, uh, the tools or the skills to make that yeah. happen. And so through this program, we think our children are going to learn. Um, they're going to learn about how to take care of chickens. They're going to learn about fish. And they're going to learn a new system, the hydroponic system, that they've never even heard yeah. of. So we're really excited about this. Yeah, so it'll be really fun. And you know, uh, it's just a, a project that we can all be working together as time goes by. So. It's just going to be neat to see how it evolves. You know, uh, in my heart, you know, I'm looking up there and saying, okay, well, we need to do this, we need to do that. You know, it's going to take some time, but it's going to be really neat to see this a year from now to where you're really developing food. And, and you know, one, is going to lower your budget needs as far as food-wise, but also, too, like you said, when these kids get, become adults, they can say, hey, I remember, you know, and then, then they can start developing their own food source. Because obviously, a lot of people do here, maybe not as much in America, but here a lot of people, you know, have to grow their own food. You, you know, it's sad to see them, you know, grow such a limited supply of food, and maybe these kids can learn how to grow a greater amount of food as well. So, But just th thanks a lot for taking the time to share with us. And do you have a website? I just want to encourage the people yeah. to go to your website, look at your website, see what you're doing here. Sure, we do. We definitely do. So our website is just casitacopan.org, C-A-S-I-T-A-C-O-P-A-N.org. So okay. please check us out and let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, and I'll, I'll put that on the video as well so you guys don't have to worry. But please go check it out. Um, you know, there's a lot of great things that's going on in Honduras. And I believe this is one, one thing that's really going on that's great. So. All right, All right. thank you, Sean. Thank yeah, you, everybody. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm just going to show you a little bit around um, what we're doing and how the project's going. Um, you know, uh, basically, we've kind of, you know, disassembled the IBC totes. We've painted the IBC totes. But I'm going to take you up here where we're actually going to put the system. So I just want you to see that, see that in place, see what the guys are doing up here as well. So up here, we're uh, going to build a uh, chicken coop. And uh, we, we've been working on it, but we kind of pulled off today because I want the guys that work on uh, the aquaponic system so we can kind of get up to speed there but as you can see we're building everything out of metal um, here it's just a little bit more conducive because you know you use wood um, it, it, you're just gonna have termite issues and you know we don't have any like resources to treat that and so forth also to uh, pressure treated wood is just not handy down here um, you can go into the major city and get it but where we are at locally it just doesn't exist um, up here um, we are uh, building the racks uh, to set the uh, uh, grow beds on. And then as you can see, we're actually kind of like tying all the grow beds together. We paint those as well. Um, a lot of people ask, why do you paint uh, your aquaponic system? Um, primarily to protect against sun and so forth. Uh, so we paint this, uh, uh, the aquaponic system. 
the, the barrels were already blue. We really didn't have to paint those, but just kind of a, you know, I, I just like everything to match. So uh, we got everything painted. Um, so probably tomorrow we're going to be able to set the grow beds onto to the rack. They're making the rack back there in the back. Uh, we're just making everything out of metal. Um, it's just going to be a lot, like I said, a lot more durable, more lasting. Um, so as you can see, we've just made a lot of progress. Uh, probably, probably in about a week we're going to see a huge, huge, um, you know, difference here and, uh, you know, a lot of progress. So thanks a lot for checking in.